I'm Mike Bednick with the Hanato Tavares Association, I'm in a school in Woodstock, Illinois, and uh, I'll give you guys one of my one of my favorite techniques today. All right, so uh, typical situation: my opponent has shot to try to take me down. I sprawled out. I get my legs clear. One of the problems with this situation is if I start to attack the neck right here, he's going to become very defensive and look to uh, to defend the choke. So I want to mislead him a little bit. I'm going to feed my arm underneath straight up against the neck and I'm going to hook the back of the bicep right here. I'm going to post my hand for a good base and I'm going to suck that arm straight across. From this position he doesn't feel like he's choking at all. Uh, makes it a little bit a little bit easier to attack because he's not very defensive. I control the back of the arm. I'm going to really aggressively pull and suck that arm up. Step my leg inside and then I drop the arm on top of my leg. One of the reasons I like this position right here is there's a a lot of space right now for me to make the proper adjustments to, to uh, really finish the technique and get it as tight as possible. From here, I control my wrist, I suck that arm down as far as I can before I do anything. I don't wanna just pull. Right now, I'm pulling into his armpit. I'm, I'm basically cutting off the blood supply to his hands. I wanna cut off the blood supply to his brain. So I'm gonna push my arm down, grab my wrist. Now, I pull it across. From this position to finish, I want to make sure I stay as you okay. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I stay as tight as possible. I'm just going to fall to my side here, with my leg cleared on top, and I use my back muscles and my my leg muscles to finish. So the finish is from here, legs and back. One more time. I control that arm, post, pull, step, drop. Again, this gives me all this space to make the proper adjustments. If I wanted to from here, I could squeeze into his neck using the strength of my arms to really squeeze here. But I want to make this as tight as possible. I want this to be able to work against anybody I try. So I shoot my hand down deep, control the wrist, suck it in. I fall to my side, keeping everything nice and tight. Leg goes up on top, and I extend. Let's do it from the other side. Again, shooting my arm across, straight across the neck, grab the back of the tricep, post that hand, step up, let go, make my adjustment, secure, fall straight down onto my knee here, leg clears, and I extend. Your opponent or your training partner should feel that tightness way before I start to fall back. If he's not feeling like he's choking already, adjustments have to be made. Uh, there's a lot of variations of this choke. I don't have to pull him up onto his feet. If I'm here, I could trap here and slide my leg underneath now. Uh, you have to be a little bit more advanced from that position because you don't have the space to make the, the, the adjustments. You have to be you know, a pretty seasoned, uh, a pretty seasoned athlete to to lock this into place just by using this space here. That's one of the reasons I like, you know, I'm getting old now and I like, I like things to be as easy as possible. So when I step up like this, I control and I step up here, you know, I have all this space to play with. It makes it very easy for me to, to make my proper adjustments. And if from this position, some people might think, what if he grabs my leg? If he takes that and grabs my leg and pushes me down, he's putting me to the position I want to go in. So I'm okay with that. Uh, one last time, full speed. Again, I'm Mike Budnick from the Hinato Tavares Association, and uh, that's my variation of uh, an arm and guillotine choke.